Hello, my friends. A very good morning to you all. May God bless you. And may the Holy Spirit clarify and give you all understanding to all of us, in fact, the understanding so that we can comprehend His voice, His word, His will, and then we will be able to practice His will for our lives. We have been receiving quite a few requests for us to position ourselves concerning what's been happening about the future, the destiny of Brazil, right or left. Very well. Taking into consideration the fact that we are seeing people from the left uniting with hell, giving their own blood to the devil, to Lucifer. They are getting together, they are united, all the children of darkness are united with all their strength in order to make the candidate of the left prevail. On the other hand, what are we, the people of God, those who consider themselves of God, the people called by the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, what are we going to do? Are we going to fold our arms and wait for the results? No. Pay attention. I did some research in the Bible for situations similar to the one we are living now. And there are quite a few of them. And we are going to apply one of those there in the book of Second Chronicles, in the chapter 20. It says the following. Pay attention. It happened that after this, that the people of Moab with the people of Ammon and others with them besides the Ammonites came to battle against Jehoshaphat. It means the enemies of Israel, they got together and they went up against the kingdom of Judah which was then led by Jehoshaphat. Then some came and told Jehoshaphat, saying, A great multitude is coming against you from beyond the sea and also from Syria. And then the text says that Jehoshaphat feared when he heard that this great multitude was coming from beyond the sea and the Syria, Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. He proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah the kingdom of Judah gathered together to ask help from the Lord. And from all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. So see that Judah, let's say, was a very small country, but now it was, it was being threatened by fear the fear of having to face armies from the enemies that were much more powerful than they, much more powerful, which is the case of our situation now in Brazil. The media, the powerful media from Brazil, which is leftist, is working strongly for the candidate of the left,
the election polls, we could see that all of them were wrong. They failed. All of them failed. It showed that they were, let's say, they were bought to distort the facts. And we can see that the opposite actually happened. So the powerful ones in the media, the powerful ones in the media, put all their strength against the candidate of the right, Jair Bolsonaro. And now the leftists are putting all their strength, uniting their strength in order to put themselves against the candidate of the right. What did Jehoshaphat do then when he heard that all the enemies, ferocious enemies of Judah were together? When he heard that, what did he do? He was afraid. And he set himself to seek the Lord. Look how beautiful, wonderful, isn't it? This is an example for all of us. Whatever is your situation, if you have a physical problem, a problem in your love life, a problem in your family or in your health or in your finances, we resolve these problems with God, seeking the living God which we have believed. Of course, if the person does not believe, then it's difficult. But when the person places themselves in a situation of humility, as it was with King Jehoshaphat, King Jehoshaphat set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed, proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And that's what we are going to do in the Universal Church. And we invite all those who believe in the same God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel, the God of Jehoshaphat, the same God who delivered Jehoshaphat, he will also deliver all of us. And you who are watching this video, please understand that the fast that we are going to proclaim is from this Sunday, the 9th. And what type of fast that we have projected? It's a fast for us to do of 12 hours every day. But pay attention. The 12 hour fast, you start, for example, at 6 in the evening and you go until 6 in the morning, or you start at 7 p.m. and you go until 7 a.m. of the following day, or you start at 12 noon and you go until midnight. You decide the 12 hours of fast that you are going to make. You decide. Obviously, that there are people who are on medication, people who need medical care, people, let's say, who need food, they need to eat properly, then these people should make a different type of fast, which is a fast of prayer. Oh my God, I pray here for Brazil, for our country. Brazil has never been so threatened as it has been in these last days. So we pray for Brazil, save our land. The whole world is a huge mess and we are seeing that this situation is, is coming to us as well. So you're going to pray to God and you're going to ask God. Your fast is going to be that every time you remember the situation, you are going to talk to God and this is going to be your fast for you who cannot fast of food. But you who can make the fast of food, then you are going to define 12 hours of fast every day until the 30th, the last day of this month, the day of the election. You are going to fast, you are going to cry out to the Lord as Jehoshaphat did, because just as the people who are crying out to Lucifer, to Satan, they are killing animals, 
they are sacrificing, they are crying out to the God whom they believe, we are also going to cry out to the God whom we believe. Then let's see who is going to win. Whoever is stronger will win. Let's see. So, if you believe this way, then prepare from the Sunday, the fast of 12 hours that you are going to choose, midnight to midday or midday to midnight, from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. the following day, from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m., you decide the time that you are going to make your fast according to your physical conditions. If by any chance you do not have the conditions to make a fast of food, then make the fast in constant prayer. Every time you remember the situation that you have to face in the following day, the 30th, you are going to fast, you are going to talk to God, you are going to cry out to the Lord as we are uniting our faith. So I want to invite all Christians, all those who cry out to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, all those who have believed in the Lord Jesus Christ as their only Lord and Savior. It doesn't matter your church, it doesn't matter the denomination, we are uniting ourselves, we are getting together, we are starting the Universal Church. From this Sunday now, all of us are going to be making the fast of 12 hours, a fast that will depend on each one. You are going to choose the 12 hours to make the fast, okay? So let me repeat from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., 12 hours, or from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. the following day, from midnight to midday, or from midday to midnight. You decide what fast, but what matters is the fast. What matters is the fast and the prayer, because Jehoshaphat, before that situation, he said, there is no other way. Let's humble ourselves before God. Let's put on sackcloth. Let's humble ourselves before the Almighty. Let's cry out to Him and He will answer us. So I want to make this invitation to all of our brothers of faith, whether from the Universal Church or any other denomination that preach the Word of God, that believe in the Word of God and in the Lord Jesus. You can be Catholic, a Spiritist, an Evangelical, whatever is your religion, do you believe in the Lord Jesus? Then we are going to cry out to Him. We are going to cry out to our Lord Jesus Christ because the God who heard the prayer of Jehoshaphat and all of his people, he will also listen to us and he's going to answer us according to his holy and perfect will. Okay? So from this Sunday, all those who are true Christians are going to cry out. They are going to cry out with a fast. With a fast, a fast of 12 hours every day, every day a fast until the 30th, from the 9th until the 30th, 21 days basically, 21 days of fast of 12 hours that you choose according to your criteria. I repeat, if you are the kind of person that has been taking medication, you have to take medication, you are under medical care, so follow your doctor's instruction and do not make a fast of food, but make a fast of prayer. You will always pray, and if you do not know what to pray, then pray the Lord's Prayer. Pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, it's simple. Pray the Lord's Prayer, say this prayer every hour, and so on, you, you choose how you're going to make it. But the important thing is for you to do something. It's what we are doing. We are going to do our part. We are going to do our part. 
and we are going to let God do His part. So here in chapter 20 of Second Chronicles, it mentions this, when Jehoshaphat then proclaimed a fast, then he himself stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court. He went there and said, O Lord God of our fathers, pay attention to the prayer of Jehoshaphat, O Lord God of our fathers, are you not God in heaven? And do you not rule over all the kingdoms of the nations? And in your hand is there not power and might, so that no one is able to withstand you? Are you not our God, who drove out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel, and gave it to the descendants of Abraham, your friend forever? And they dwell in it and have built you a sanctuary in it for your name, saying, If disaster comes upon us, sword, judgment, pestilence, or famine, we will we stand before this temple, the temple of the Lord, and in your presence? For your name is in this temple, and cry out to you in our affliction and you will hear and save us. So, the temple of Solomon was built upon the direction of the Holy Spirit. It's a replica of the temple where Jehoshaphat went in his time. And you can also, if you want, you can come to the temple of Solomon to say the prayer of the type of Jehoshaphat's prayer. Once a week at least, on Sundays or Tuesdays or Wednesdays, or every day if you want, and so on. So you are going to manifest your faith. You are going to exercise your faith. You are going to put your faith into practice. You are going to humble yourself before the Almighty, even outside of the temple, by the door. You, you, you who live in Sao Paulo, Make the sacrifice. It's for your land. It's for your family. You know that we have heard that you perhaps heard this, that the people of the left, they want to destroy the family. They want to destroy the family. We have videos showing that their people are saying, we are going to destroy the family. So, my friend, if you want to change the situation, do your part. I am going to do my part. We are going to do our part. And we are going to wait until the 30th and see who is the true God. We are going to know then who is the living God, isn't it? If it's the God of the left or the God of the right. Okay? May God bless you all. And I'll see you tomorrow when we are going to talk more about this. But please... Do not forget, organize yourself so that from this Sunday you can start the fast of Jehoshaphat. May God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Amen.